like always, you want to start with clean hands. The first primer I'm using is this Makeup Forever HD Primer. This is the green corrector because I'm having some extra redness around my cheeks and my chin. So I start with a very small amount of that. It is green, but it will be translucent on the skin and you won't see it after the foundation is applied. So I apply most of it where I'm having the most redness and work it into all of the areas that have redness around my nose and around my eyes and my cheeks. Adding extra to the areas that need it most. On my forehead, I don't have much redness, so I'm just going to use a regular primer. I don't have a favorite primer right now, so I just use whatever samples I have. This is a pixie primer. Just use a very small amount of that and apply it to my forehead and whatever areas of my face I did not apply the green corrector. The foundation I'm using today is Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. I really do like this. It is about a sheer to medium coverage, but you can use pretty much any foundation with this method as long as it applies well to the sponge. I start by dotting the foundation onto my face. And then just lightly blend it out. Then take my damp sponge and start patting it all over the foundation. I love this method because it gives a very flawless finish and imparts a little bit of extra moisture. So for dry skin, it is absolutely perfect, especially in the winter time, but you can do this all year round. And even for oilier skins, you can use this method with your mattifying foundations and it'll give you the same flawless finish. So this is what the foundation looks like with one light layer. You can see it's a pretty sheer to light coverage, but it looks very natural and light. I'm going to apply a little bit more just so you can see what it looks like with more coverage. Just going to do the exact same thing that I did before, dotting it onto the face, a little bit onto the neck. And if you have a hard time finding a foundation to match your skin, a good way to test it is by testing it on your neck instead of on your face because for me in particular my face is a different color from my neck so this is the way that I always find my matches. So I do bring it up a little bit under my eyes and I just keep blending it and blending it all over the face. And this is what it looks like with two layers. Moving on to concealer. I mix my own concealers because I have a hard time finding ones that I like. So for this one I used a bit of this Conceal RX by Physicians Formula. And I think I mixed some of the foundation in with it, I don't really remember, but I like to make my own. And to apply it I use these fluffy flat synthetic brushes. The left one is Real Techniques and the right one is Private Label. But I like them because they are soft and fluffy so they blend out concealer very nicely. I just apply the concealer around my nose and on my chin and anywhere that has redness. And for my eyes, I'm using a sample of the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I've been using this sample for a while because you only need a tiny amount. So I try to apply that precisely to the areas of my eyes that need it most. And then blend it out by patting with a fluffy brush. very nice concealer. It is a bit emollient, so it's good for people who have dry under eye skin. If you haven't already watched my video about my miracle cure for dry under eyes, I will link that in the description. I do like the coverage of the skin, but it is a bit shiny, so I do like to set it with powder. And for powder, I have two options for how to set your foundation. To start, I'm going to use this Cryolan Translucent Setting Powder and my large powder puff. This is the method that I talked about in my 5 tips for super dry skin video. Just apply a very small amount of powder to the puff and then move it around so that it is evenly coating. Then you're just going to smush the powder into the puff so it doesn't apply too heavily and then pat it and roll it over your foundation. This will just apply just a very small amount of powder, take away any shine, and set your foundation so that it'll last all day. The 
The second option is if you want a bit more coverage, which I usually do from filming, take a powder foundation, I'm using the MAC MSF in light, and a fluffy brush and just pat that into the foundation all over the face. You don't want to start by brushing it over or swirling it onto the skin because you will upset the foundation and concealer you have applied. So just gently pat it into the foundation before you start blending it in. To set my under eye concealer, I'm using another Real Techniques brush and the MSF. I will put the names of all the brushes in the description. And I'm just patting it all over the concealer, again, not swiping it or brushing it because I don't want to upset the concealer. Just patting it into the concealer to set it and take away the shininess. And that's, and it really will work with any foundation that applies well with a sponge. 